Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchala, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is epididymitis and how does this cause male infertility? This is the topic for discussion today. So what is epididymis first? Let's find out. Epididymis is a small pouch just outside the testis where sperms mature. Once they mature, they go on from epididymis to vast difference and from there they are carried into various other small sections where they mature and gain motility, morphology, etc. So epididymis is a very important point of rest for sperms that are just being produced from the testis where they gain maturity. Now what is epididymitis? Any infection or or the inflammation of this epididymis can result in something called as epididymitis. So this can lead to male infertility where sperms are damaged, sperms are immotile, sperms are poor in morphology and also poor in number because the final uh, number in the uh, semen may also come down. So what are the causes of epididymitis and uh, how is it that we can treat this problem. Sexually transmitted infections can be a major source of uh, the inflammation of epididymis. Problems such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, etc. can lead to epididymitis or inflammation of this small pouch that I was talking about, which could lead to the damage of sperms. Bacterial infections also are a cause of concern and uh, these could also cause inflammation of the epididymis. There are other factors also such as intake of a drug for abnormal heart rhythms called as amiodarone or genitourinary malformations in children under 2 years of age can cause epididymitis. In addition, fungal or viral infections can also cause inflammation of the epididymis. What are the risk factors for epididymitis? Having sexual relationships with different partners on a regular basis, having a previous sexually transmitted disease or not using protection during intercourse can also cause epididymitis. When epididymitis is independent of sexual transmission, other factors that increase the risk of this condition are not being circumcised, recent surgery on the urinary tract, regular use of urethral catheter, prostate disorders such as prostatic hypertrophy or prostitis, tuberculosis also is a problem. So what are the symptoms? How do you know that you are suffering from epididymitis? The major symptom can be a one-sided pain or swelling of the genital area, a feeling of heaviness and warmth in the testicle, pain or discomfort when urinating accompanied by frequent urination, blood in the urine and semen sample and penis discharge. So how do we know? that epididymitis is the cause of the symptoms that you are going through. It's necessary to request for the following test or your urologist will do it for you. Blood and urine test to assess for bacterial infection, ultrasound which will allow the study of blood flow to the testicles to rule out testicular torsion. This test is essential because testicular torsion also needs immediate surgery. Semen analysis also can be performed where the presence of leukocytes in the semen which could be indicative of infection. So is there a treatment for epididymitis? The treatment for epididymitis depends on the cause of the inflammation. Specifically, the doctor will prescribe antibiotics to stop bacterial infection. If the inflammation of the epididymitis is the result of a sexually transmitted infection, then specific antibiotics will be used, but they will have to be administered to the sexual partner as well. There are some home remedies that also uh, can be implemented by the patient. Applying cold packs to the genital area, bed rest, and visiting the doctor is the most crucial thing that you can do to prevent further uh, aggravation of this problem. If you wish to understand more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.